Hey, geometry students, welcome back. This is Mr. Lee, and today we're going to go through the angle constructions. We're right here on L14. Okay, and so you have an angles con angle constructions worksheet to do. And on this worksheet, at the bottom of it, you are going to be doing three different types of constructions. So the three types of constructions you're going to be doing is copying an angle, bisecting an angle, and then adding angles through constructions. Remember that all these constructions can be found animated on mathopenreference.com. Okay, and these are all right here. Copying an angle and bisecting an angle, and then sum of n angles. Those are the three we're going to do right now. Make sure you have your compass, your straight edge, and I would have some colored pencils if you want. Those are optional. Um, you don't need to have them, but it's nice to have colored pencils and a highlighter. Okay. Okay, so you're going to be given an angle to start with. So I'll go ahead and just make an angle. I'll just go ahead and, if you're taking notes for your notes, just go ahead and make an angle of any sort of arbitrary um, measurement. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And let's go ahead and to complete this angle, Okay, remember that an angle is made up of two rays. So now let's put the little arrows there and let's name this angle. Let's just keep it simple, angle ABC. Okay. So the first thing you're gonna be asked to do is to copy this angle. Okay, so they're gonna give you an angle on the homework or the quiz. They'll give you an angle and they'll ask you, hey, go ahead and copy this angle. So I'm gonna copy this angle right here, right below it. Okay. So to copy an angle, you're gonna start off with a ray. And here's this end point. And I'm going to just use primes. I'm going to call this tri or this angle A prime, B prime, C prime. So this vertex is going to be B prime because that point corresponds to that point right there. Okay. To copy an angle, I open up my compass to any sort of medium setting. Uh, it doesn't matter how big. You don't want it super big or super small. I'm going to open it up to a medium setting. Then take the pointy end and put it on the vertex of the original angle kind of poke it in there and then go ahead and make one big arc that intersects both sides of the angle okay then go ahead and without changing the compass with that same compass setting okay just go ahead and put the pointy end on your new vertex make a nice big arc okay make it bigger than it needs to be and make a nice big arc and this arc is corresponding to that arc. So now what I'm going to do is place the compass on one intersection point and then open up the compass to where the pencil hits the other intersection point and make an arc on the original. Okay, you must make this arc on the original um, for full credit. Then simply pull the compass over here to the copy and at this intersection point place the pointy end on there and make the same arc, okay? So when you strike this arc, this arc corresponds to that arc, and this intersection point corresponds to that intersection point. And so now we have two points, and we recall that two points determine one unique line. So we're gonna go ahead and to finish this, just connect these two points, this point in your vertex. Okay, and there you go. So we know that angle A prime, B prime, C prime is congruent to angle A prime, B prime, C prime is congruent to our original angle, angle A, B, C. Okay, so there is our congruent statement. Okay, so next we get to bisect an angle. So remember what bisect means. Bisect means to cut in half. Okay, so Let's say that we start with an angle, and again, I'm just going to draw sort of an arbitrary angle. Go ahead and draw a nice arbitrary angle, something like that. Let's call this angle J, J, L, bisect an angle. Okay. All right, so let's just visualize what this is going to look like. Okay, to bisect an angle means to cut in half. So we're going to end up drawing a ray. Okay, from endpoint K right through there, such that the two little angles that we create are going to be congruent to each other, and they're each going to measure one half of the measure of the original angle JKN. Okay. So 
So how do we do this? So just open up your compass to some medium setting. Let me open it up just a little bit more um, and place the pointy end on the vertex of your angle that you're bisecting. Then make one big arc that intersects both sides. Without changing your compass, just put your um, pointy end of your compass on one intersection point and strike an arc in the interior of the angle. Okay, then without changing the compass, okay, place your compass on the other intersection point and strike another arc, okay, also in the interior of the angle. And where those two arcs intersect, that point and your vertex are the two points that determine the line, which determines the ray. Okay, so go ahead and connect the dots, make this a ray. And let's go ahead and name this intersection point. We have J, K, L, so let's call this M. Okay, so now we've created um, an angle bisector. Okay? So we know that this angle now is congruent to, let me use a different color, is congruent to that angle. Okay, so let's go ahead and write a congruent statement. So we know that angle J, K, M, this angle here, is congruent to angle M, K, L, or you can call it L, K, M, it doesn't matter. I'm going to call it M, K, L. We know that those two angles are congruent. We also know that this measure is one half of the measure of the total angle. Okay, So that would be an equation, not a congruent statement, but an equation. So we could also say that measure of angle J, K, M, is equal to the measure of angle MKL, and those are both equal to those are both equal to one half the measure of angle JKL. And in our last construction, you're going to be given two or more angles, and you're going to be asked to quote unquote add these angles. Okay, add angles. And so just think of the angle addition postulate. Okay, and we don't technically add angles because they are shapes, okay? But through constructions, through the magic of geometric constructions, we are gonna sort of add angles. So let's give ourselves two angles. Okay, let's go there, and there. Let's call this angle P, Q, R. And let's give ourselves another angle. Let's put it over here. Doesn't matter which way it's facing. And let's call this angle T U V. So we want to construct one angle such that. So how are we going to draw this? Make sure that we give ourselves enough room. So I'm going to draw one of the sides here, and then my other side is going to be somewhere over here. So my vertex is going to be somewhere near the middle of the page, okay, just so I have enough room. So to draw this, I'm going to go ahead and start off with a ray. And I'll make my ray right there. Okay, and first we have to copy either one of these angles. It doesn't matter which one. We just have to pick one and copy it. So I'll go ahead and copy this blue angle first, angle PQR. I'm just going to copy that right on this ray. So recall to copy an angle, you open up your compass to some medium setting. It doesn't really matter, um, you know, how big. Okay, just some medium setting. Place the pointy end on the vertex of the original. Strike an arc that intersects both sides without changing the width of your compass. Go ahead and place the compass on the part where you're going to copy your angle. Strike an arc that's long enough that it will contain both of those intersection points. Okay, then move your compass and quote unquote measure. It's like we're kind of measuring how big this angle is. Right? So we open up our compass and make sure that you strike an arc. Now this is very important. If you want full credit, you have to show both of these arcs on the original. Okay, if you don't have that arc, then you're not gonna get full credit. Now go ahead and with the same compass opening setting, 
Okay, go ahead and strike an arc right there. And then this intersection point corresponds to that intersection point, okay, which now dictates how big this angle is. Okay, so let's go ahead and just call this angle A, B, C. We know that angle ABC is congruent to angle PQR. Okay, so I'll go ahead and write that. Angle ABC is congruent to angle PQR. That is my first congruent statement. Now to add angles, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to copy this red angle right on top of or right adjacent to this purple angle. Okay, because this purple angle is now congruent to this blue angle. So I'm going to just copy this red angle right here and it's going to open up like there somewhere. Okay. So let's go ahead and copy an angle. So to copy an angle, you open up your compass to some medium setting. Okay, strike an arc that intersects both sides. Okay, now this is the baseline. Okay, this ray BA is the baseline where I'm going to be copying this angle. Okay, so I'm going to turn my page a little bit. And from here, I'm going to go like that. Okay, and now this arc corresponds to this arc. Then, Step two is just open up your compass to where it hits both intersection points and strike an arc. Then I simply move my compass to this intersection point and strike an arc there. So now this intersection point corresponds to this intersection point. Okay. And so now I simply draw this other side of this angle. And let's call this point D. Okay, so now we know that angle DBA is congruent to angle TUV. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that. Let me zoom in just a little bit. DBA is congruent to angle TUV. Okay, so now I've copied both angles right on top of each other, or technically the word is adjacent to one another. And so that is how you quote unquote add angles, add angles, okay? So if I wanted to write an equation to really express how I sort of added these angles, what I would write is that the measure of angle DBC is equal to the measure of angle PQR plus the measure of angle TUV. And we are done. So we've learned three construction techniques, copying an angle, bisecting an angle, and adding angles. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and um, good luck with your homework tonight, and I will see you in the next video.